2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. From Salt Lake City, Utah, the scene for the Grizzlies. Full of talent, it's the Lithuanian big man, known as Valen Junis. And he tries to wheel his team to victory as they get ready for action at Vivint Smart Home Arena. Grizzlies. Jazz. The NBA playoffs start now. The playoff battle in the West starts off with a bang right here. Game one. I'm Kevin Harlan. We've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony alongside. And our sideline reporter tonight, David Aldridge. D.A., it's all yours. Hey, Kevin. John Morant put the league on notice his rookie season. Was... Thank you, David. Look at the open lineup for the Memphis Grizzlies. Jackson and Valanciunas, they're in the middle. And there's Dylan Brooks. Then it's Morant. And it's Melton in at the two. And for Utah, Mitchell is the two with Ingles at the three. Rudy Gobert is out there with Bogdanovich. And it's Conley in at the one spot. <laughs> and the Grizzlies start out with the ball. And Morant's got the ball here for Memphis. Left side, Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Now here is Conley. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. I just don't know how you defend Donovan Mitchell. He's a dangerous offensive player, and he's learning how to get to the free throw line. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. He was a part of that terrific draft class in 2017. Donovan Mitchell was somewhat unheralded, but may turn out to be the best of the bunch. And Mitchell drops them both. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Morant passes to Valanciunas. Stolen by Michael Conley. And the shot goes in. Love the high activity of Conley on defense, keeping his arms moving all the time to create problems for the opposition. Gobert against Morant. Tipped away. Stolen by Conley. And now here comes Conley leading the break. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. The track star DNA for Conley on full display in the open court. Conley against Morant. And the pass to Valentin. Over Ingle. And he gets that one to go off the front iron. Valentunas has a look from the mid-range. He is very comfortable taking it. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Gobert finds Mitchell. Ingles against Brooks. Shot clock at six. And there's a whistle. That goes on Dylan Brooks. That's his first foul. and great footwork. John Morant is a constant threat to your shot. 
Brooks kicks to Murray. Six on the shot clock. Conley against Jackson. Caught that one. Jackson's got his second bucket of the night. Look at the big man Valanchunas showing off the playmaking skills. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Conley gets the bucket. And that kick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now here's Morant. The teardrop falls in. And early on, they look great. They've made all four of their shots to start this game. Jazz have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Here's Conley. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. The sneaky athleticism of Conley able to absorb the hit there and still get the shot. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And the Jazz with some changes. Derek Favors checked in for Rudy Gobert. Ilias Ova comes in for Bogdanovic, And it's Jordan Clarkson in for Joe Ingles. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. He's an ultra lefty with a great feel for how to run a team. Ike Conley is a tremendous asset for this franchise. Now here's Moran. That's out of bounds. The Grizzlies are able to retain possession here. The Jazz making a switch here. O'Neal's checked in. shot a little left but the bounce goes his way and he's not going to miss many of those especially that wide open and early on if you're him you just want to see the ball go through the net and get into some kind of rhythm they get a bet favors banked in off the glass one of the foremost offensive rebounders in the game favors always in pursuit Post is good. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. And here's Clarkson. He brings it up for the Utah Jams. That one's in. His first bucket of the game. He's one for two. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pit for the lay-in. One forty-one left to play in the first quarter. Morant pushes to Anderson. Down to five on the shot clock. The three from Morant hits it from three-point range. Morant's got five now. I think consistency from three is in Morant's future. On that shot, he was well balanced time out, time and out. focused. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jams. Well, it's a player's league, but certainly coaching has its place. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. George Nian is checked in for Ilyasova. So it's the Jazz now. Jazz passing it around. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Grizzlies will take it. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And you've got to take your defense up a notch in the playoffs. He takes it up about three notches on that block.
We've got 108 left here in the first quarter. Pass to Tillman. Pass to Allen. Lock at six. Here's the teardrop. Great positioning on the putback. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. Utah trailing here. Conley feeling it out. And the foul called on Brandon Clark. That's his first foul. There's 42 seconds left to play here in the first. Niang passes to Clarkson. And the three ball is good. Clarkson's got his second bucket. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from me. Clark outside. Here's Allen. Clark trying to get open. There's Allen. That's good on the assist by Clark. And that's now six points for Allen. There's 18 seconds left to play in the first. Here's Clarkson. He's got five. Five on the clock. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Good job of stepping up to the plate there, seizing back the momentum for his team. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. And so, lots of scoring in that competitive first quarter. Jazz lead by one. And the second quarter will be on the way when we come back. And we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. And the guys, what's your take on Utah so far? Boy, their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. This is exactly what you want to see if you're a coach. Your team starting fast and playing with confidence. So on the four for Memphis. They've got Jonas Valanciunas. Kyle Anderson is out there with Brandon Clark. And it's Melton in at the point. Anderson against Hindle. Here's Valanciunas shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Love the aggression that Valanciunas showed there. He walked up the contact inside to get to the line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. For a player his size, Valanciunas has always been a good free throw shooter. We won't see a hack of Val anytime soon. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Clarkson. Then for the Grizzlies, Jackson, he's checked in for Clark. And it's Dylan Brooks in for Kyle Anderson. Valanciunas hits them both. Mitchell with it. Pass to Ingles. And here's Bogdanovich. Mitchell up top. Over Jackson. Mitchell's shot is good. And the Jazz lead by one. Boy, how valuable is Donovan Mitchell. Having him in the fold sets up this team moving forward. It's the teardrop, and it's laid in by Brooks. No shortage of drama here early on. Yeah, eight lead changes already. Huge number this early. Now, here's Mitchell. D right on him from 17 feet out. And again, it's Utah. 
Coach doing a great job of putting Mitchell in pick and roll situations. For a young player, he makes good decisions. Brooks outside. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Mitchell outside. Now the pass to Niang. Puts up a three. Utah gets it back. Bogdanovich lays it up off the glass. Bogdanovich has got his first two points of the night. What hustle on the glass. Bogdanovich doesn't give up. Have to appreciate the effort. Pass to Milton. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. The Grizzlies shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. The first one falls. Ilya Sova, he's checked in for the Jazz. Ja Morant, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. And so he makes both from the line. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. The drive by Mitchell. And that one drops. Mitchell's got eight points. In this period, they're beating him, and he's feeling it. Here's Morant. Yep, it counts. And the Grizzlies lead by one. It breaks down your defense when John Morant gets in the lane. You want to force him outside. Mitchell kicks to Bogdanovich. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Shot clock at six. And it's Mitchell missing. For Memphis, they've gone three or four from the floor here in the second quarter. Tim Jackson throws it down hard. Shows incredible vision for a younger player. John ja Morant, a skilled distributor. Morant against Mitchell. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. What's up? A little artistry in the painted area, converting against the size. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. The Jazz shooting their fourth shot at the foul line here. Here's what Utah's going with right now. Derek Favors checked in for Rudy Gobert. Royce O'Neal in for Bogdanovich. And it's Mike Conley in for Joe Ingles. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Morant against Hunt, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Stronger than his frame might suggest. That's a big time and one by Ja. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Grizzlies making a switch here. Anderson's checked in. from Morant. You know, in most NBA drafts, John Morant would have gone number one overall. But not in a draft with Zion. At least not at the time. Mitchell dishes to Conley. And the rejection by Jackson. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Jackson. And Utah making a change here. Clarkson's checked in. The Grizzlies also making a change. Clark's checked in.
Here's Clarkson. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Clarkson's got nine. And they've repeatedly broke inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Morant passes to Anderson, and he gets the bucket. Anderson's got the lead back up to three now for Memphis. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And Favors kicks to Conley. Pass to Clarkson. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Dude, that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why, it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. For Utah, they have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. One shot. Throw good, Clarkson. And, and you know, Clarkson entering the league as a second round pick, a, a little unsung for most of his career, but always seems to find a way to continue. Anderson outside. Six on the shot clock, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. That's One thing about Kyle Anderson, he's always had good balance, can absorb contact, and maintain his rhythm. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Free throw good from Anderson. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Conley kicks to Favors, passes to Clarkson. Dishes to Conley. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Conley's got 11 points. You won't find many players with the quickness of Mike Conley. He can dice you up. Anderson outside. Clark trying to get open. Anderson's shot is off. Jazz have gone 8 of 12 since the start of the second quarter. That's a really high percentage, hitting around 67%. Inside, here's Morant. And finished up by Morant. This guy is exciting to watch. Morant gets up and don't it. The pass to Ilya Sopa. Here's Conley. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. Given the size to sit down, you have to have a lot of confidence to take that shot. Also, a lot of skill. This is exactly the type of thing you practice for over and over again. Just five to shoot. It's Marines with the drop, and it's good for two. With the handle and the acceleration, Morant moves around the court with the ball on a straight. John Morant has been leading the charge, guys, for the Memphis Grizzlies. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all... The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, there's a definite postseason buzz in the... And guys, for the Grizzlies, they hung tough in what was a closely contested first half. And that's all we have. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. Guys, John ja Morant has been sensational. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. 
And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. So on the floor for Utah, Conley and Mitchell, the talented backcourt pair. Bogdanovich out there with Gobert, and it's Ingles in the small fold. Morant passes to Valanciunas. Count that bucket. Valanciunas has got the first points to start out the third quarter for the Grizzlies. Jazz trail by five. Now here is Conley. Gobert dishes to Mitchell. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Can't fault the play call. Even though he couldn't convert, that's a good shot. Melton's shot is good. As the lead continues to grow, this is just heady sound basketball. They have just nailed their halftime adjustments. That's for sure. They don't want to have to sweat this one out. They're looking to pull away. Moran's against Conley. Just five on the clock. It's over Morant. Here's Gobert. Makes it off the glass. That was the first make of the half. One for four now. Let's see if that gets them going. Brooks outside. Just over a minute and a half. A pass here in the third quarter. Now here's Morant for three. Gobert pulls it in. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Jazz. Trailing by five. Conley against Morant. Gobert the pass to Conley. And that one drops for him. Conley's got 15. And Mike Conley can do this now. He can play off the ball and punish the defense for giving him space. And they double up Morant. And a wide open look for Valanciunas. Good, and a nice assist from Morant. Just look at what a sniper he is from long range. He's got such an unusual skill for a big fella. Here's Mitchell. And they come right back with their own three-point. He's got 14. And that was a little payback for what happened on the other end. Mitchell showing the range. Jackson passes to Valanciunas. Kicks it to Brooks. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Valanciunas, good. The persistence of Valanciunas paying off in a big way on the glass. He is just a tremendously hard worker. Now Conley. He's got 15. Basket number eight is all good. He's attempted 12 shots. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pitch for the lay-in. Brooks against Ingle. And Chan shot. No good from Valanciunas. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And you know we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. Brooks with no one around. And again, timeout, timeout. it's the Grizzlies from deep. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Utah calls timeout. You have to like what you're seeing from John Morant. Good decision to regather. Talk it over. Your main concern now is how to slow this guy down on the offensive end. Favors checked in for Bogdanovich. George Niang comes in for Joe Ingles. And it's Jordan Clarkson in for Mike Conley. 
There's Clarkson. He's got 12. That one is good again. He sits right from the floor with the basket. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. To the middle. Here's Valanciunas. And the dunk by Valanciunas. When you have the size that Valanciunas has, there aren't many people getting in the way of your dunk. Mitchell gets to Clarkson. There's the feed to Gobert. Mitchell outside. On D. Again, it's the Jazz from deep. McGee just sagged off just enough. And no hesitation. Bain, he's covered by Clarkson. Misses from short range. Jazz trail by three. Pass to Favors. Over Anderson. Favors can't get it to go. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone has afforded an easy miss or two. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. And that one's good by Clark. You, you got to know, this is Clark's skill set at this stage of his career. He takes quality shots. When Mitchell outside. From outside, off the mark. And the Grizzlies leading by five. Allen inside the three-point line. Again, Memphis. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Mitchell outside. The offensive rebound. Favors. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Great job by Favors. Really making the defense uncomfortable as he's going up with the shot. The Jazz shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. And the first one drops. Well, you know he's the former third overall pick out of Georgia. Favors has made steady improvement. Productive at the four and the five spot. Looking at who's out there now for the Jams. Ilya Sova, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. And O'Neal subbed in for George Niang. He's perfect from the line this time. And Morant's got the ball here for Memphis. It's a five-point game. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And it's a different kind of defense teams play in the postseason. More in your face, physical, high energy plays like that one. For Memphis, they have been excellent at the free throw line here today. A flawless six for six. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And so he hits the technical free throw. And so it's Memphis with it. Shoots the three. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. Back right after this. than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. Here's Morant. On the court for Memphis to start the fourth. 
They've got John Morant. Clark is out there with Anderson. And it's Tillman into the center position. Bain, he's covered by Clarkson. And Derek Favors pulls it down. Get that weak stuff out of here. That's embarrassing. Mitchell with it. He's picked up by Morant. And the Grizzlies leading by six. Beyond the arc. A rebound by the Jams. Favors got four rebounds now tonight. Mitchell looking it over. Over Morant. Mitchell's shot is good. Mitchell's got 19 points. It's hard to stop Donovan Mitchell from getting to his spot. The guy has everything on the offensive end. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Donovich is checked in for Ilyasova. Joe Ingles comes in for O'Neal, and it's Mike Conley in for Clarkson. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Hey, guys, I caught Taylor Jenkins' message to his team. He's happy with how they've been playing. He told them, hey, they had their chance, but this is where we take it from. This is our game and our series. It's going pretty fired up, man. All right, David, thanks. Well, when it comes to carrying an offense, Young players do it as well as Donovan Mitchell. Morant passes to Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Well, you wonder why we're seeing so many points tonight. Just look at the D. And later in the game here, it's just as important to get stops. We'll see if either side is up to the task. We had a nice open look right there. Conley's got 19 points. Mike Conley has really improved his jump shot. He is shooting with a lot of confidence now. Pass to Brooks. Outside Jackson. It's a nice passing there by Memphis. Tillman passes to Moran. Find the shoot. That's in. He's 7 for 12 now in the game. Playing at his tempo, his pace. He's been dialed in all night. Outside Bogdanovich. Back to Conley. That ball. Nice speed that time from Bogdanovich. 21 points in the game. And his teammates appreciate the unselfish. Bogdanovich willing to get it to his open guys. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Brooks with it. Deep three-point range. It's rebounded by Derek Favors. Favors has got five rebounds tonight. Mitchell passes to Ingles. Favors inside to tie it up. It's rebounded by Memphis. And here comes the break. Conley against Morant. Sinks that one from the post. And the Grizzlies lead by four. Tremendous effort from John Morant, letting his team know they can rely on him. Conley, the pass to Favors. Back to Conley. A good finish at the rack off the slip feet. Conley's got 10 points here in the second half. The Grizzlies have gone 3 7 from the floor in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the court. Timeout called. The Grizzlies. 
And with a fourth quarter push coming up here, the coach going over the game plan and these players rehydrating themselves with Gatorade, recharging their bodies, refocusing their minds, and getting that strategy down to close out the game. Player of the game, John Morant. And he's had the hot hand tonight, Kevin, no doubt about it. He's gotten his field goal percentage up over 60, and you're only going to get it that high when you're taking good, smart shots. And the Jazz making a change here. Go Bears checked in. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Here's Melton. And Brooks. Here we go. Can't connect from short range. Here's Mitchell. Buries it from three-point range. Mitchell's got 24. This just goes with the narrative. Mitchell is a baller who wants to be considered among the best in the game. Brooks again Tingle. Challenging his passes to Brooks. The Trey. Good and a nice assist from Morant. Morant's got assist number eight now on the night. The Jazz have gone six of eight from the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. And there's another one for the Jazz. There's a certain resiliency to this team, and you're starting to see it. Well within striking range. Now is when you have to lock in. Okay. Morant is the Brooks. No 21 left in the fourth. Shot from the top of the key. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it, and it is good. Brooks has got five points now this quarter. And it's Mitchell with the ball for Utah. Trailing by two. The shot. No good. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. It falls! That is world class. Incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. And the time Jazz out, call out. time here. They trail by four. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Loads from nine. It counts. And he has brought them to within two points. The youngster is not going to buckle or fold. Donovan Mitchell is not afraid of the moment. Morant outside. Donovan grabs the miss. This could be a turning point. Critical possession right here. Mitchell kicks to Ingles. The triple. I mean, spectacular. He's clutch. We've seen Ingles make plays in this situation before. Timeout called. The Grizzlies. They're behind by one. 23 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Guys, your thoughts? This is where great coaching can pay dividends. These are the plays that people remember. I can't wait to see what he has devised. Morant. Oh, 
over to the left wing. Melton. It falls! Timeout, timeout. And they still have a foul to give at this point. And the Jazz call time here. They're down by one. 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? This is where great coaching can pay dividends. These are the plays that people remember. I can't wait to see what he has devised. Finally, the pass to Mitchell. Passes it to Andrews. Takes a three. Right between the eyes. The silent assassin, Eagles, continues to do his job and does it at a high level. And so it's Utah who's straight by with the win. A uh, pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You see Kevin's momentum is so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Rudy. This is a defense-first team, and you picked it up in the second half. What changes did you make at the half? I feel like we were focused in the first half defensively, and uh, we just have to come back and communicate and just be focused, you know, and that's what we did. Attention to detail, Rudy. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Thank you. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us for the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. For Greg Anthony, Sven David Alton. This is Kevin Harwin saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.